Well, I think different countries will take different approaches and the UK has made, made a decision that, uh, you know, it's got a number of old coal-fired power plants. Most of the power plants that are operating in the UK are, are pretty old now. So that's effectively their natural lifetime anyway, for most of them, I understand. Uh, different countries will take different approaches. You know, some, uh, those countries that have said we're going to phase out or reduce use of coal, we have others that are increasing the use of coal, particularly across the developing and emerging economies in Asia. So different countries will take a, a different approach. Uh, here in the UK, I think, you know, there is still the option you know, potentially to build, you know, coal with CCS or, or look at that as, as some sort of an option in the future. But given the plants that we have at the moment, it's probably not surprising they set that sort of time frame. Well, I think that those countries probably are, are looking to try and balance, you know, the, the needs of climate policy with sustainable and economic development. And, uh, you know, in my mind, that th those things can be treated as integrated priorities. So, uh, you know, a country like Vietnam or the Philippines, these are economies that are uh, looking to build, you know, coal and, and looking for, to build it, the right technology for coal. So, uh, you know, I think that uh, they have the option to use all of that technology. Well, you know, they've said that, uh, some people from those countries have said that, other, other people have uh, said, you know, we're going to have you know, a significant role of coal in the mix. So uh, I guess it's, uh, you know, the proof will be in the pudding in the end.